Overnight in Wisconsin, President Trump once again attacking the U.S. election system. And they better be careful. Those paper ballots you talk about a bad thing. The votes come in, they, they have no idea, they can't count them. And I don't mean they're off by a little bit. They're off by 20 percent, 25 percent. There's fraud. There's missing ballots. Undermining confidence in an election now just 46 days away, or even sooner, depending on where you live. Beginning today, voters in Minnesota, Virginia, and South Dakota can cast their ballots in person. And absentee ballots are in the mail for voters who have requested them in eight states. Fourteen additional states begin mailing ballots tomorrow. Election experts believe this year anywhere from two-thirds to three-quarters of voters will cast their ballots before Election Day. And while state election officials from both parties continue to say voting by mail is safe and secure, the president's attacks on the system may be having an effect. Only 44 percent of voters believe mail ballots will be counted accurately, according to our most recent NBC News Wall Street Journal poll. That distrust reflected everywhere from Democrats in Saginaw, Michigan, do you know how you'll vote yet? Like, will you go on election day? Will you vote by mail? Election day. I'll go and stand in line and vote. Why is that? I mean, you, is that what you always do? do always. You... And I don't trust it any other way. <laughs> I want my vote to be counted. To Republicans in Tampa, Florida. I'm not against mail-in voting, but I do, I do think that there could be some error, room for error there or some, you know, shady dealings maybe. <laughs> As voting begins in Minnesota, the state's top election official pledging votes here will be counted properly, no matter how they're cast. I believe and I predict that we will know the vast majority of winners and outcomes sooner rather than later, either on election night or pretty shortly thereafter. And in his town hall last night, the former Vice President Biden slammed the president's continued attacks on the integrity of the elections and said he's committed to accepting the results. He said, let's count every vote. Savannah? Well, you're in Minnesota, but let's talk about Pennsylvania. It's definitely going to be a battleground state this time, maybe a deciding state. And there are a bunch of court rulings that were very important having to do with voting and mail-in voting. What can you tell us? Yeah, three key rulings from that state's Supreme Court. First, they're going to keep a Green Party candidate off the ballot. They're going to expand the use of ballot drop boxes around the state. And most importantly, they're going to expand the deadline for counting absentee ballots sent through the mail. So as long as your ballot is postmarked by Election Day, it can still be counted up to three days after Election Day starts. Savannah? That's why we're not talking about Election Night. We're talking about Election Week, uh, at least, Garrett, potentially. Thank you very much.